So you might think, and a lot of people did, with AlphaFold, maybe the genetic basis for diseases is solved. We can predict if a mutation will change if a protein folds and how it functions. So now we just need to learn how to correct those. However, proteins only make up 2% of our DNA. And the other 98% is super important. In there is all this information about when and where and how to use proteins in our cells. When we look through human genetic studies that have been going on for a few decades now to figure out where the genetic variants, the genetic changes that cause disease sit in our DNA, it turns out most of them aren't in the proteins. The vast majority are in this other 98% of the genome. And so while protein folding is very important, it's moving ahead, it's actually, you know, being able to do alpha fold is helping with therapeutics development because you can predict which proteins interact with each other. You can predict if a drug interacts with a protein. In terms of addressing the big common diseases out there, cancer, heart disease, neurological disease, it turns out that knowing how to fold proteins is only a very small part of the story. And there's this major obstacle to figuring out what have genetic changes outside of proteins do? And can we predict those in the same way?